Foods and habits you should avoid to keep your kidneys healthy. It's hard to notice when we do our kidneys harm. Even if 80% damaged, kidneys can still do their job, and so we rarely realize they're struggling. Often, even common daily habits can cause your kidneys continual damage, and when you finally discover something's wrong, it's too late. Our kidneys are incredible organs that work very hard. By themselves, they absorb minerals and nutrients, produce hormones, act as a filter for toxins in our blood, produce our urine and maintain a normal acid to alkaline ratio. We cannot live without our kidneys functioning properly. The Chinese, for example, have looked at the kidneys as a site of essential life force for centuries. Let's discuss the 10 foods and habits that may damage kidneys functionality. 1. Drinking too much soda. A study conducted on employees working at Osaka University in Japan found that drinking two or more soda drinks a day either diet or regular may well be connected to a higher risk of kidney disease. The study included 12,000 people, and those who drank larger quantities of soda were found to have protein in their urine, which is one of the first signs of kidney damage. However, early detection can reverse the disease with proper treatment. 2. A deficiency in vitamin B6. The healthy function of our kidneys also depends on a healthy diet, especially one that contains certain nutrients. According to a study carried out at the University of Maryland, a vitamin B6 deficiency increases the risk of the formation of kidney stones. For healthy kidney function, a person should have at least 1.3 mg of vitamin B6 in their food every day. The best sources for this vitamin are fish, beef liver, potatoes, starchy vegetables, chickpeas and non-citrus fruits. 3. Lack of exercise. Another good way of protecting your kidneys is to get some exercise. A comprehensive study published in 2013 in the Journal of the American Society of Neurology found that postmenopausal women who exercised had a striking 31% less risk of developing kidney stones. 4. Quit smoking. Perhaps not surprisingly, smoking has been linked to atherosclerosis, the narrowing and hardening of blood vessels, which influences the blood supply going to all the major organs, including the kidneys. According to a study published in Clinical Pharmacology and Therapeutics, just smoking two cigarettes a day is enough to double the number of endothelial cells, the cells that line our blood vessel walls, present in your bloodstream. This is a sign of arterial damage. 5. You're not aware of your blood pressure. If you've never monitored your blood pressure before, it's time to adopt the habit now. A study in the BMJ journals linked kidney damage to hypertension. This is because the kidney uses your blood and blood vessels from the cardiovascular system to filter the toxins and distribute the nutrients. A high blood pressure is usually an indication that something could be wrong with your cardiovascular system. The more the arteries become narrow, blocked or hardened by cholesterol and other toxins, the higher the risks are to kidney damage. When your organs can't function well, your kidney tissues won't get the nourishment needed. If you have a history of hypertension in the family, make it a priority to monitor blood pressure. This way, you don't just prevent kidney damage but also limit your risks of stroke or a heart attack and enjoy a more positive lifestyle. 6. Not drinking enough water. One of the most important things for our kidneys is for them to get hydrated enough to perform their functions. If we don't get enough water in our system, toxins start accumulating in our blood because there isn't enough fluid to take them through the kidneys. The National Kidney Foundation recommends drinking at least 8 glasses of water every day. An easy way to check if you're drinking enough is to make sure your urine is a light color or clear. If it's dark, you're not drinking enough. You can check the color of your urine with this helpful guide. 7. You love your desserts and sweets. Are you a sweet tooth who just must have desserts all the time? Consuming excessive amounts of sugar can not only lead to the development of type 2 diabetes but you could also be in danger of kidney damage. Sugar can spill over your urine if you have an excess of it due to diabetes. If you're unable to control this condition, diabetes can eventually damage the blood vessels that the kidney uses to filter and transport nutrients. Hence, it becomes less effective at cleaning your body system, taking artificial sweeteners won't help with issue. According to a study in the Asian Pacific Society of Nephrology, those who use artificial sweeteners in excess raise their risk for kidney decline by two folds. It should not be stressed enough that when it comes to food intake, everything should be in moderation, even for ingredients that are supposed to be the healthier option. 8. Disrupted sleep. 
I just love a good night's sleep and, as it turns out, so do my kidneys. According to Science Daily, a chronic disruption in our sleep can cause kidney disease. Dr. Michael Soul, cardiologist and professor of medicine and physiology at the University of Toronto, says kidney tissues get renewed during the night while we're sleeping, so when we can't sleep without constant interruptions, our kidneys suffer direct damage. 9. You like to eat foods that are high in sodium. Salt is an important nutrient, but it can cause a disaster when taken in excessive amounts. Overconsumption of sodium will raise your blood pressure and put a lot of strain on your kidneys. We recommend limiting yourselves to no more than 5.8 grams .2 ounces of salt per day. So put down that salt shaker, 10. Consuming too much caffeine We usually drink more caffeine than we think we do. It's in coffee, tea, soft drinks and sodas, before you know it, your body is full of caffeine, which causes your blood pressure to shoot through the roof, and your kidneys to suffer damage. 10. You hold your need to pee. Typically, a bladder can hold up to two cups of liquid for three to four hours. But some people might have a harder time peeing in a public bathroom, so they hold it in for more hours. When you ignore nature's call and delay going to the bathroom to relieve yourself, you're not allowing your body to flush the toxins. If you make this into a habit, it could have unhealthy effects. You could expose yourself to urinary tract infection UTI, that will make peeing uncomfortable and even painful. If this occurs, you might find blood in your urine or the liquid could be cloudy with an unusual odor or color. You could also damage your pelvic floor muscles that may result in urinary incontinence. Another risk is that of developing kidney stones that might require surgery in some cases. If you find that your bladder feels full all the time even if you've already peed, it might be time to have a checkup to rule out any underlying condition. If you're working out, also include pelvic floor exercises in your routine so that you can withstand delaying your bathroom breaks without any consequences to your health. Thanks for watching.